Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Nexus 9. Now, this is just how to set it up and how everything works on this tablet to get it going. So when you first start it, you are going to appear on this screen and just going to obviously choose your language and country. So just go right there. And then you're going to connect to your Wi-Fi. So one very important thing is you only want to really set up a tablet where you have a Wi-Fi connection. It does give you the option to skip, but really just to get the best uh, overall experience, you are going to want to do it uh, where you can put in your connection. So I'm just going to do that now. And now I'm connecting. Let's check in the connection, I guess, to make sure that it is a good one, that you do have a good uh, internet connection for your device. And after this, most likely what's gonna happen is, okay, it needs to download an update before we even do anything. So, um, I haven't seen a tablet do this before, but apparently, this is going to do that update before we go any further. So we will come back after the update. All right, now we started back again and we can start. It did save our uh, internet connection because it did need it, of course, to download. So now you can start with your Google account. Now you are gonna need a Google account uh, regardless if you have had an Android device or not. Before this, uh, just because you do need a Gmail email in order to you download apps on this device, so you are going to need to do this. So you, if you don't have one, uh, you can create your new account. But since I have one, I'm just going to enter in my email, which I will now do. And then once you enter that in, it will ask you to put in your password, which I will now do. And now it's just checking my info to make sure everything I entered was correct. And as you can see, and now it's asking me, hey, we've backed up uh, things from your last uh, devices. Do you want us to bring that over? And since I have a lot of devices, I will see which ones it's referencing. As you can see, I have a lot of devices. Uh, Alpha, LG, Nexus 10. Um, hmm. Let's go with this one, the tab. Yes, sir, yeah. Let's go with that one. And I have 100, I like that it tells you how many apps you have uh, saved on there. Oh, and you can also select which ones you uh, want or don't want. I like that a lot. Um, that is something new to uh, this, the, this series, which has never been put on there before. I kind of like that, so I can kind of unhighlight certain things that I don't necessarily need on here. Uh, I really like that. That is a really great feature that Google has added to it. So if you don't need something per se, you can not need it. Um, that is a very nice feature. I don't need that because it can't do multitasking. Um, don't need that, don't need that. I really like this. Um, so actually, I'm going to, uh, to select all these really quickly and then I will go back. Now that I have selected everything I want, I can simply hit done. And I'm gonna go with 55 apps instead of 107. And then I can hit next. Uh, you just generally want to hit next after this. Uh, it will save everything uh, so that it will uh, create a better experience if you ever switch to another Android device. But in the end, you just wanna hit next. 
and you always want to use Google now because it will help out your life dramatically, which I will go over in other videos. And there we have it. It even took my old, old background from that device as well. Uh, so there we have it, guys. This is the Nexus 9 uh, set up. And uh, it will begin the process of downloading the apps that you had selected it to download. All right, stay tuned for other videos like how to speed up your device and just everything you need to know about the Nexus 9 right here on Ask the Android Guy. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.